what holds us back are our beliefs, are our programs. And the fact is that we are only operating consciously for around 5% of the day. And the other 95% of the day, our subconscious program is running the show. It is basically in control of everything. So most of those subconscious programs that are downloaded are downloaded from our time in the womb through to the age of six or seven before the analytical mind kicks in. And we know that kids like sponges, right? They take in absolutely everything. And here's the thing, sadly, most of those programs are, or at least 70% of those programs are limiting. They're self-defeating type programs. But here's where we go deeper, much deeper. We can't blame our parents for the programs because they were programmed too, right? They were running on their programs. They were running on their, um, their level of consciousness. Everyone, everyone is always doing the best they can according to where they are currently at. So whilst we um, took on board the programs and the stories of those closest to us when we were very young, the truth is that the bombardment of programs has never stopped. It has been an ongoing thing. You've been programmed to believe that you will never be enough. You have been programmed to believe that no matter how hard you try, it is never going to be enough. You have been programmed to compare yourself to others. I mean, how is all marketing sold to you? Beautiful woman, beautiful hair, hot guy. There's always something selling you something all the time. And you and they're telling you that you want if you want to be happy, you need to be like them. You've been programmed to never ever want to stand out. You have been programmed to not ever want to be better than average. You have been programmed to be fearful. You have been programmed to be sick. You have been programmed to be mediocre. Your your belief system is the only thing that has a virus. Your belief system has been infected. And that is the truth.